Erie News Now continues to honor the life of Jay Rougeau Jr. The Cory native was killed in the line of duty while pursuing an armed and dangerous suspect in central Pennsylvania on June 17th. We have team coverage tonight that you can count on surrounding the speakers and attendees at the funeral service to the community's reaction to saying goodbye to a state trooper killed in the line of duty. The Bayfront Convention Center became the scene for a moving funeral service for the Pennsylvania State Trooper Jay Rougeau Jr. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, sergeants from the barracks where he served, and the trooper's widow, all speaking today. Our Lisa Adams standing by now watching the full funeral today. Lisa, it was really a moving event as Rougeau's family and the family of law enforcement officers grapple with this loss. Good evening, Mike. Pastor Brian Ice of St. Paul's Church in Cory, who married Trooper Rougeau and his wife Chloe, led the service today, saying it was not about finding answers. It was about love and finding a sliver of thanks for knowing Jay Rougeau and that all those who love him will see him again in the kingdom to come. The funeral at the Bayfront Convention Center was so big, family and friends were transported in by bus, a sea of law enforcement officers filling the convention center from end to end. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro was first to speak, saying that tears for the loss of 29-year-old state trooper Jacques Rougeau, a hero, stretch all across the Commonwealth. Jay's life was stolen from us because he drove toward danger to protect the rest of us. We should celebrate his heroism, and we must never forget it. Rougeau's flag-draped casket and photograph rested alongside a state patrol car, a nod to his duty and sacrifice. Sergeant Jonathan Colarusso of Troop J, where Trooper Rougeau worked until March, spoke with admiration for a trooper on the rise. Speaking from the heart, I absolutely love this kid. He had every quality and capability all of us would want in a law enforcement officer, a spouse, a son, a brother, and a friend. Sergeant Lucas Rankin of Troop G in Lewistown spoke next. Although Trooper Rougeau hadn't been there long, his goals and his humility were on full display, quickly endearing him to his peers. The corporals even started calling him stealth fighter because of the way he conducted himself. He never wanted the attention put on him. Then with courage and bravery, widow Chloe Rougeau gave the eulogy, opening her broken heart. He ran toward gunfire on his day off. That's who Jay was, a protector, a hero. His life was taken from him. He deserved more than this. There were prayers, hymns, and a musical moment of amazing grace from Commander Richard Manning of the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Then after sharing memories of Rougeau's youth and character, the honor guard of trooper pallbearers and the crowd of law enforcement officers watched a hero go. Pastor Brian Ice reminding those gathered, this is not goodbye. In our loss and in our tragedy today, it is still Afidazi, for we will see him again. Ethan, person after person after person could not say enough about this young man, how he was asking for more trainings, how he, they called him stealth because he very quietly caught the bad guys, never bragged about the arrests that he made or his successes as a trooper, but he really had a goal of becoming a criminal investigator and wanted to just drink in all the knowledge and opportunities that he could. Everyone saying this is a life just snuffed out way too early and a promising career just lost and uh, so brave. His widow there speaking there today. 29.